Should artificial intelligence play a part in life or death decisions? If so, which part? Imagine this, you're a doctor. You're working a shift at the intensive care unit. Then two new patients with severe lung failure due to the coronavirus are brought to you. A 70-year-old woman with a husband, kids and grandkids. And a 40-year-old single man. There's only one respirator left. Who lives, who dies? Decide now. We'll tell you more about the role of AI in situations like these. What can and can't AI do? How is AI already being used in the health sector? And what role should AI play according to experts? One, two, three, four. Doctors have to make life and death decisions every day, not only during the coronavirus pandemic. Nowadays, who gets treatment and who doesn't often has to be determined in a matter of minutes. If you think our intro scenario was a hard decision, imagine having to decide whether a person already hooked to a respirator should be unplugged so that another person can have the treatment. In many countries, it's against the law to take someone off life support, who will certainly die without it. Doctors have to judge a patient's medical history and their chances of recovery. And on top of that, they are confronted with immense ethical and judicial problems time and time again. That is why governments all over the world are developing so-called triage plans for what happens if hospitals are overwhelmed. Triage describes the process of quickly examining patients who are taken to hospital in order to decide which ones are the most seriously ill and must be treated first. And that's where AI comes in. What can AI do? AI can analyze much more information than humans in a matter of seconds. It can write and summarize texts, it can understand emotions without having them itself. It can also interpret brain signals and read human minds. And lots more. But would you trust AI to make the right decision about your life? Let us know in the comments. The coronavirus outbreak has led to a surge in the use of AI applications to help contain the spread of the disease. For instance, in mainland China, there's a wide range of applications. Robotic cleaners which spray disinfectant, apps that track people's travel history, or AI voice assistants which give advice on home quarantine via phone. Now a group of Chinese and US scientists have developed a new AI tool together. They claim that it can predict which newly infected coronavirus patients would have a higher risk of severe complications from COVID-19 the disease caused by the coronavirus. The scientists have designed computer models that can calculate survival rates for individual patients. For the study, the AI system analyzed data from two hospitals in the Chinese city of Wenzhou. The tools use demographic data as well as laboratory and radiology findings collected from 53 coronavirus patients in Wenzhou. The AI system focused on predicting one specific symptom of COVID-19, the Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, ARDS, which causes a buildup of fluid in the lungs that can be fatal for elderly and vulnerable patients. COVID-19 symptoms typically include a dry cough, fever and sometimes an upset stomach. A minority of patients, however, develop severe symptoms like pneumonia within a week. The AI tool found that, among other things, liver damaging diseases like hepatitis were often linked to this type of respiratory distress. During the study, the AI tool had an 80% accuracy in predicting the risk of ARDS. And this isn't the only AI tool being used. There are other AI technologies that also aim for the accurate diagnosis of coronavirus patients. Medical professionals and experts from all fields agree, AI can definitely be of great help. Still, the final decision on treatments should be made by doctors, humans with emotions and experience. But that's not all there is to it. AI data analysis tools provide assistance and guidance. Having an answer suggested by an AI can take away some of the mental burden doctors are confronted with. But should it? Is it okay to trust the AI? And will doctors be criticized if they don't follow the AI's recommendations? AI is precise, but what if there's a flaw in its data? Every artificial intelligence system is only as good as the data set it is fed with. Who makes sure that the learning data is up to speed? 
There is certainly a lot to consider when it comes to AI helping with life and death decisions. What do you think should be the role of AI? Does the thought of a computer assessing your health scare you? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to know more about how AI is used to find vaccines and treatments for the coronavirus, check out this video. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay home and stay healthy. One, two, three, four.